Thanks, bud. With less than a week to go, we still have several options when it comes to voting for president of the United States. We're very familiar with two of the names, but for many of us, some others are unfamiliar. Third-party candidates are getting some attention these days. WCBI's Renee Skinner joins us now with more on one political party's platform. Renee? Well, Steve, we've told you about the Libertarian Party, but there are millions of Americans in the Green Party. About 4.2% of Americans, or 5.6 million people, are undecided on who they'll vote for next Tuesday. I talked to a Tupelo couple who says undecided voters should consider a third party in American politics. Instead of hearing about, you know, um, one person's... Uh, uh, exploits and and possible illegal activities and other persons warmongering uh, instead you would be hearing about policy and about issues and how we can solve those issues we'd be hearing real 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 uh, policy changes that America needs real ideas and when you're in a party like the Green Party mm -hmm. you cast your vote it's counted your choice you're making counts your opinion your view matters. Tupelo voters John and Gwen Wages are Green Party members. They believe the race for the White House would be different if one particular woman was able to take on Donald Trump during the debates. And her name is not Hillary. The voters get to choose uh, the president. If the voters want to choose Joel Stein of the Green Party, uh, we're on the ballot in 45 states, which is more than enough electoral votes to win. So the theoretical possibilities certainly exist that if the voters I knew about us that we could certainly win. The wages are for physician and activist Jill Stein. They believe barriers in Washington have kept Stein out of the debates. The Corporation for Presidential Debates, which is um, controlled by the two parties, so the Democrats have somebody on the board, the Republicans have somebody on the board. Needless to say, the Greens don't have anybody on the board, <laughs> nor do the Libertarians. So. Who gets to be on the, on, in the debates? Well, Republicans and Democrats. If you're not in the debates, then nobody's going to know about you. And just in case you didn't know, the Green Party is the fourth largest in the U.S., promoting nonviolence and social justice. This is a party that's known for its stance on environmental issues. For instance, the Green Party once proposed creating an environmental crime unit to prosecute people who commit environmental crimes. 80s. Uh, so climate change is very real, and it's here. Uh, we can't stop it. Uh, many, many observers think there's no way to limit it to two degrees even, uh, which is going to be devastating enough. So what we have to do is prepare for the worst effects. Uh, and the government basically is doing nothing but paying lip service uh, to, to the issue. And one of the major party candidates even even has gone on record as denying that climate change is even real. He claims it's a hoax. The Green Party also calls for change on gender equality, LGBT rights, and race relations. We in the South have to deal with racism front and center because it's an everyday thing in 101 different ways. The reason we talk so much about social justice because in the Green Party is because everything that has undermined our American values has come from inequality. The wages believe their Green Party vote matters. So I'm proud to cast my vote for Green Party candidates in the hope of building a party that uh, will become important in the future and will win many races. The latest Washington Post poll tracker shows Jill Stein is garnering 2.5% of the vote. For all the latest election coverage, just visit our website. That's WCBI.com. We're going to take a